What's up guys, Simon here with Tech Visibility. Today I have an exciting product from Tozo. It is not your traditional earbuds that I've been testing, although they are earbuds. These are the gaming version. They're supposed to have low latency, and this is the G1 design for gamers. You could switch between games and music, and the low latency on these should be incredible. They're perfect for such as games, such as like first person shooters, like Call of Duty Vanguard, Halo, etc. So we're gonna test these out. I'm actually gonna play a game on the PC here and see how much I like these as well. We'll also listen to some music, give you my honest review and unboxing of the Tozo, whoa, that was crazy. The Tozo G1. Before I do that, I always ask that you show some support for the channel, subscribe to it, smash that like button, and check out techvisibility.com. Let's go ahead and unbox and review the Tozo G1 gaming earbuds. Okay, so here we got the Tozo G1. The packaging is pretty standard, but they look great. I mean, the green reminds me of like an Alienware computer. I think that's the design they were going for. So let's go ahead and open these up. And we usually remove the shrink wrap, which is the best part. Get this knife in here. All right, so they pop out from the bottom and the packaging is very similar to Apple. I mean, they straight up pretty much copied everything from the sleeve except for the dark inside. On the back of the packaging, you got different colors. This tells you the color that it is and it's black and it looks like it's done with a pen or pencil. The low latency, 45 milliseconds, it's pretty good. Uh, game and music mode on here, which is neat. And you got the design. This is kind of engraved, I like that. In here, we got two manuals. Design for gamers is what it says. And it has auto pairing, so it's a touch panel on the earbud. You're, we're gonna pair it up. Very similar left earbud, previous right earbud, forward. So double tapping previous song, double tapping on the right is the next song. One tap is play, pause, and answer, and hang up on both headsets. You put them in like so. So we're gonna slide them in and see the comfort. First put them in and then twist them down to fit. Been having problems with some of these earbuds fitting in my ears. And it's not me, it's the ear, but all right. So this is what we get inside the box, the patented Tozo ear tips. And here you get an additional five with one on them itself. Wow, these look great in terms of design. Love them how they look right now. So I'm excited for that. And then here is the case and the case is actually small. I mean, wow, this is great. So we got the shrink wrap off the case. We got the packaging off, the extra ear tips. Inside you get your USB C charger. So USB-C to a regular USB. That's inside here, really convenient. USB-C, I'm glad they went with that. All right, let's move this stuff to the side. Let's focus on the case and the earbuds themselves. This case is cool. It's got that green glow, alien wear style. They pop in like so. Now, one thing I'm noticing is the clearance from the earbud to the case is a little bit uh, in the way, but really good nevertheless. Tozo on top, USB-C on the bottom. This is a charging indicator. Look at them charge right there. That is neat, guys. These are awesome. I would even potentially use these guys as the main earbuds if they sound great. That's how they look. That's pretty cool. And this is a light case. I'm surprised how light it is. They're both trying to pair. Let's leave them in here for a second. And now look at that indicator. All of it's charging. It's kind of hard to get them in, but once they're in, they're in. For comparison, I've always been comparing to the AirPods second generation. That seems to be one of the most common AirPods out there. Here's how the case looks, guys. So very close. I would say maybe one and a half times. If you look, you can't see that, but very close from the side here. It's definitely a lot bigger, but not substantially bigger where it's a deal breaker. For the price, these are around $25 right now on Amazon. The lid holds well. But anyway, let's pair these up and see how they sound with music first. And then we're gonna get into the game. Here's the Tozo G1, boom. And you pop it in and then you twist down, which is great. And I hear an Asian lady telling me the headset is connected. Sounds pretty good. Uh, there is some noise canceling from the rubber tips. These are actually fitting in very well. If we do look at the right tip on both the AirPod 
the tozo is actually a little bit shorter in stem with the rubber tip. So let's pop these back in and let's test them out. So let's see, we are connected to the Tozo G1. I'm gonna go ahead and play a rap song for bass and then a standard song like rock for some quality music, okay? So here I go with the first song. Plotting on the majors, trying to make it from the minors Looking at what's ahead, trying to put it all behind us To five star from a dine nine, these seats were recliners That's just a reminder when you want the things that's finer Speak it into the universe in this game I'm a student first, staying humble cause shit was worse Play with They sound very clear so far and they fit great, I will say that The mids are excellent, they sound clear I sound muffled when I'm talking So, pretty good, very happy with these So far, these are for $22 I saw them on Amazon. They were $59 minus a discount. These are amazing. All right. I'm going to check another rap song because I want to hear more bass, okay? So I know exactly who to play in these situations, guys. Okay. Here we go. I mean, there's a lot of bass in this. The bass is not super clean, but for $20, oh my god. They're excellent. Oh man, I would rock these every day. That's how much I like these. Jesus, great. Wow, alright. The bass is there. The mids are there. $20, I would think these are a hundred dollar pair. G1s by Tozo. So let's go ahead a different song. Maybe something a little more mellow, maybe a uh, dance uh, mixed in with some melody. So here we go, I picked a song. Man, this, this is great. These, these earbuds are great. I will highly recommend them for the 20 plus dollars. I'd pay all the way up to 50 for these G1s. Honestly, they're really quality. Let's go into some of the specs here uh, of these after we try them on with a PC game. Okay guys, so I am here, I got my screen in front of me and you'll see that. I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of a Call of Duty game and try these G1s. That's what they're meant for, they're gaming earbuds. So here we go. Team Deathmatch. Eliminate all hostiles. Plan ahead, plan to win. Oh man, this is intense. I haven't played Call of Duty in a long time and this is pretty awesome. So I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Opening a door, running, breaking shit. 
Oh my God, the sound is clean. The latency is really good. I'm hearing the fire, the footsteps. It's incredible. I'm in like World War II right now. And the machine gun, everything, it's pretty good. So the latency on these, I don't feel like I have a headset in, uh, which is important, at least not a wireless one. That's always the problem with video games. And this is exciting. So um, yeah, I, I, I'm impressed by these earbuds. Sorry, I got caught up in the game. Okay, enough playing, I gotta go. All right, so let's go over the specs. These, these are great, the latency is great. And on top of that, they sound amazing with music. So I am just ecstatic about that. I do wanna note one feature with these. It says you could switch between music and gaming. So the Bluetooth is great on these. Again, it's a 5.0, not a 5.2. So I wonder how they're doing the better latency. But nowhere in the manual did I find that you could switch from gaming to music. So it must be doing it automatically. And that's what it looks like. Yeah, it doesn't have an indicator. Guys, if you do know how to switch between music and gaming on the G1s, comment below. So far, I didn't find it in the manual and it doesn't look like there's anything there that I could press to change this out aside from auto pairing. To auto pair these, you can actually clear your uh, pair list and you can hold it down for five seconds if you need to auto pair them. And that will be pretty quick. So if you hold these for five seconds, throw them in the charging case, they're gonna reset, okay? And you'll find Tozo G1 on either your Android or Apple. Overall, very impressed. I wanna go ahead and go over the specs. These are amazing. I mean, look at these. So, okay, let's put these down. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs because that's the most important part of these G1s. And so far, again, I am excited, I am happy. So the Tozo G1s have a 45 millisecond latency. I experienced that while playing Call of Duty. They were great, there was no lag time. The gunfire was instant with the screen the steps breaking doors and going through doors etc it was great while playing music i experienced some really good bass with them and good mids highs for 25 dollars i'm shocked they are that good they're saying the bluetooth connection is three times faster than your standard earbuds they don't go into details of what that means or compared to their other earbuds i'm wondering if these are bluetooth 5.0s or bluetooth 5.2s so that would kind of make it important to see what the latency actually is in comparison to some of the other earbuds they say there's a game mode sensitive switch and i am looking at the case i don't see a switch anywhere on the case and i don't see a switch on the earbuds themselves so i don't know where the switch is and in their manual they did not describe the switch so i'm gonna do a brief research and see if i could find it myself hold on tight So I wasn't able to find how to switch these from gaming to music, sorry, and it doesn't cover it in the manual at all. However, I did go on some reviews and people couldn't find it either. One good thing is about the reviews I read as well, you could connect these to a Nintendo Switch, your Xbox, your PlayStation, etc., for gaming, and they've proven to be very good quality, which I am very pleased with thus far. The good news about the Tozo G1s is they're giving you six hour battery life, and with the charge in case you're getting 30 hours total battery life for the price of these earbuds that is amazing guys and so far i'm very impressed and would recommend these and lastly what i really like about these is they're very lightweight in fact they are stated to be about four grams per earbud we're going to go ahead and get my trusted scale here and test that out so here we go with my scale and we're going to go ahead and see and it looks like there are five grams per earbud, maybe four point something. So let's tear it out. All right, here we go. Yep, five grams per earbud. And in comparison to the Apple AirPods, they're four. So they're about the same, okay? Very touch sensitive. They've been turning on every time I move them. Overall, the, the Tozo G1s, very impressive earbuds. I would highly recommend them right now. They're going for $22.99 on Amazon. Some of the best earbuds for this price range I've ever tested. So if you're looking for a pair, check these out. If you're gaming, these may be really good, but for music listening, these were excellent as well. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit the like button for us, subscribe to the channel, 
and check out techvisibility.com for the latest product news and reviews. These are the Tozo G1s. I hope you like this video.